Good. When we talk about discrimination, there's two ways that we discriminate against people. There's disparate impact and disparate treatment. Okay? Disparate treatment is where I pick you out for one of those classifications. Okay? I am not going to hire you because of the color of your skin. I am not going to hire you because of your nationality. I am not going to hire you because of your gender. I am not going to hire you because of your religion. Right? And you can show that. It's hard, but you can show that if I have a, a workplace and I only hire people who are of my same religion, you can show that, or predominantly of my religion. That's a good inference of discrimination. And then you can say, you didn't pick me because I am this. Okay? It's about you as a person and your qualifications. Disparate impact is the other one. And this is where everything looks good on its face, but the system is built to discriminate. So all of my policies look fair. Right? I say I need to hire people who can lift 200 pounds. That doesn't say I don't want women. It doesn't say I don't want certain uh, nationalities. It looks okay. Or I give a test, and you all have to take a certain test. And it, that test is about your qualification. How smart are you? How capable are you? Looks good on its face. <laughs> Disparate impact means that practices are fair on their face, but discriminate in practice. So if I put this, you have to lift 200 pounds out there, am I eliminating large portions of categories of people? Yeah. Who are those categories of people? Okay, women. Fewer women than men can lift 200 pounds. Right? If I say I need people who are at least 5 foot 11, am I eliminating categories of people? And this is kind of where the stereotyping comes in. Are there populations that I am essentially eliminating? Not entirely, but essentially eliminating. But populations? Hispanics. Okay, maybe Hispanics are shorter than other... Asian. Okay, Asian Pacific Rim populations tend to be shorter or smaller. <clears throat> women, again, tend to be shorter. Can you find women who are 5'11"? Sure. <laughs> Can you find Asians who are 5'11"? <coughs> Absolutely. Can you find Hispanics who are 5'11"? <coughs> yes. So what we look at with disparate impact is, as a stereotype, or as a generalization, are these practices eliminating categories of people? And if the answer is yes, then we look at, is it absolutely necessary for the job? So if I say somebody has to be 5'11", I'm eliminating some populations of people. But if the job is picking things up from down here and putting them up here, that may be legitimate, right? Yes, there are things like step stools and ladders and things, but, but if I'm doing this repeatedly over and over again, have you ever done that? Stood on a step stool and tried to pick things up and put them up high over and over again? It's about 10 minutes until you fall off, right? Because you just lose your sense of balance. If you're standing there, it's easier. So I need someone who's 5'11". People run into court and say, he's discriminating. He's not letting women and, and Asians and Hispanics apply for these jobs. Or he's letting them apply, but he's weeding them out by this seemingly neutral criteria. That's disparate impact. Then I go in and say, look, look, this is what this person has to do. I really do need someone who can stand on the floor and be 5 foot 11. And the court will say, I'm okay with this. But they look at the circumstances, they look at the... the the facts surrounding the case.